Hey everyone, so we're back. We're going to laminate the deck now. If you haven't checked out the previous video on building this surfboard, I laminated the bottom. Now it's time to laminate the deck. So um, first things first is we need to do a little touch-ups and some sanding since we laminated the bottom. So I'm going to flip the board. It's cured now. It's been over 24 hours. So that the epoxy is set real nice and the glass now needs to be blended. So all the spots where um, I had some, where I did the relief cuts, I need to clean those up. And I clean those up using a little oscillating tool sander. That's my preferred method because you can just get in. I only need to do a few little spots. So this doesn't create as much dust. And I also like to run a vacuum at the same time when I'm doing it because sanding fiberglass, um, epoxy coated fiberglass, um, if you get on you and stuff and you breathe it in, it makes you itch. It's just not really great for your lungs. So uh, that's why I like doing this. I wear a mask as well, but still. Um, well, I have it airborne when I can suck up most of it. Once we do that, I'm gonna cut out some more glass and then do the same as the bottom, laminate it. So, okay, let's start sanding a little bit. These are the spots that I'm gonna sand right here. So we just wanna sand these so that they're smooth, flush, so when you rub your hand over it, nothing fetches. And that should do it. Now, I have a little spot here where I had a bubble and I sand it through and there's a bit of foam there. That's okay because the next layer of fiberglass, I should catch that. So it's not a big deal. Okay, I'm just going to do the rear and then we're going to cut some fiberglass. I just got to clean up the tail patch where the fins will be that I added after the fact. So I just need to clean up these little edges here and that'll do it. Okay, so now that we got it sanded, and I should mention, if you don't have a power sander, you can certainly sand a, a board by hand. You could use a sanding block and hit all those edges. Or if you don't feel comfortable using a power sander, you're afraid you're gonna sand through, you can definitely sand by hand. Next thing is I have to get this ready for the cut lap. Now ideally, um, you don't even have to do a cut lap. I just find it makes it nice and clean for sanding later. I don't have to sand as much. Just personal preference. Uh, if you want to just do a free lap at this point onward, you totally can. It's, uh, you just have to sand off the loose strands of fiberglass uh, because you will get a few. Uh, but uh, I just find using a cut lap just makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to tape it all the way around. I'm not going to mark it or anything. I'm going to maybe about an inch from the edge and just go all the way around and eyeball it. Um, so yeah, let's do that next. So now we're gonna do the deck patch and I'm gonna put six ounce cloth, the thicker cloth, on the bottom. And then I'm gonna cut it out. It'll be a patch that'll come partway to the rail. And then I'm gonna put four, uh, four ounce cloth on top of that. And the reason why is it's got a smaller weave. So it'll just take um, the resin better uh, for the hot coat. It'll smooth out a little better. It won't be, the weave isn't as big, so it's just a little easier to fill. The bottom will be still the, the six ounce, um, but just, just the way it is. So if you did a good job 
sanding and pushing down that lap, the fiberglass won't fetch. Otherwise, if you had little burrs or little splinters, the fiberglass will, uh, will stretch and fetch and it'll just be a real pain in the ass. So again, as before, I'm going to take my dollar store scissors. I'm going to wear a, just a mask to, so I don't breathe in the glass shards when I cut it. And I'm going to cut just on the inside all the way around from the rail because this is just a patch. This is just for reinforcement for the top of the board. The board is where it gets the majority of the punishment. Your heels hit it uh, when you jump on it and uh, it, it takes all the impact. Again, save these patches so we can use those later for when we're glassing the board to wipe off our tools. Now we'll do the four ounce cloth. All right, now I'm gonna trim the four ounce cloth. So I'm gonna trim it just like I did for the bottom. So very simple, just trim it so that it hits the tape. On the four ounce cloth here, we're gonna do relief cuts again. So I'm gonna probably do one like this. That should fold nicely like that. Probably one here. But I don't wanna follow exactly where the previous one was, so I'm just gonna go over a little bit from it. Same on this side. Do very similar. Okay, now that we have our cloth all cut out, we have the deck patch and then we have the four ounce cloth cut so that it wraps around the rails. It's time to mix up some epoxy. Because we have an extra layer of fiberglass, we're gonna need a little bit more epoxy. Last time I ran short, so based on what happened last time, I used around 600 grams of total mixed resin. This time I'm gonna go up to like around 800 or so. So I'm gonna do about 550 uh, resin and 275 hardener. That'll be bring me around 825. Uh, so per foot board, it works out to be about 115 or 117 um, grams of resin per foot board. So it also will depend if your board has a more narrow nose or a more narrow tail, uh, it'll use less resin. If it's got a nice wide body, a nice wide you know, a nose, it's gonna use more resin. So you gotta factor that in. Um, I don't really have a great formula for it. There's uh, people who've given certain recommendations on it. So I've really done it by trial and error. So, okay, let's mix some resin, laminate this guy up.
Okay, the board is laminated. Um, let's let this sit. Uh, just like before, I don't know if I mentioned in the previous video, you want to get rid of all of the resin. Like you don't want any pooling resin on this. You want to be able to see the weave of the fiberglass. It should be nice and tight. You should be able to see the weave of the fiberglass. When you run your squeegee over it, it should make a zipping sound like that. The rails are wrapped nice and tight. Um, this came out really nice. If it wasn't for the pink foam, this board would look really, really sweet. Um, and all the patches that I've done on it and the marker I've left on it. But if you were to do this with clear foam or like just uh, EPS foam, this would come out beautiful. Uh, I'm going to be painting it after the hot coat like I mentioned previously. But anyways, this came out great. So next, we're going to let it set. Um, we'll let it cure, harden up. We're going to remove the cut lap. Then we're going to clean, um, sand, up the, sand up the edges, sand any uh, irregularities, any spots maybe where epoxy might have pooled. Uh, you want to try to avoid, again, like I mentioned, the epoxy from pooling. As you can see, when I was going and I was wrapping the rails and I was going over the board, I was wiping it off each time. So that way I was removing the resin. Um, and that just keeps it nice and clean and tidy. So this whole process only took me maybe 15 minutes this time. Uh, I didn't have to mix up any additional resin, so it came out really ha um, really well. So I'm super happy with it. Okay, let's let this set and we'll come back. It's been about two, two and a half hours since uh, I left this. Now it's uh, hardened and I'm going to take my X-Acto knife or razor blade. I'm going to flip the board and then I'm going to remove the tape for the cut lap. So I don't know if you noticed, but see how clear everything has become? You can't even tell between the laminations. And that's what I've mentioned before about the fiberglass. It'll go crystal clear as long as your resin is really good quality and clear to begin with. If it's yellow, it'll build upon each layer where there's a little bit of a lap and it'll get darker. So this, uh, if this was a white board, you actually would just see white. It would look really clear and uh, it would look like a, a professional job even. All right, so let's remove this tape. And again, I try not to let this harden all the way because it just makes it a lot harder to, to remove because cutting into the fiberglass once it's fully cured or at least hardened for uh, more than a few hours, it just makes it really hard to cut with a, with a knife. So overall, it came out really great. That lap line is beautiful. Just gotta clean it up a bit. What I'll do is I'll let this cure fully overnight and then tomorrow I'm gonna take my sander and I'm gonna just blend this in and then this board will be ready for glassing on the fins and working on the, probably installing the leash plug, maybe a mount for a GoPro and also uh, getting ready for hot coating. Okay, so it's the next day and the epoxy has fully hardened and now we're going to clean up that uh, lap line. So we're going to clean up that cut lap um, and just any rough irregular uh, areas uh, and that'll be the end of this video. In the next video we're going to start doing the glass on fins. So this should only take a couple minutes so let's get to it. I'm just going to use my little oscillating tool. Uh, I think I've got about 80 grit on this. Um, you, you don't need to use anything too fine. You just want to get this flush. So you're trying to remove material. Again, I'm going to vacuum to keep the dust down because this is fiberglass dust and it'll make you itch. I also got a mask, um, but the vacuum is going to collect most of it anyway. 
the only other thing I want to mention is if you don't have an oscillating tool, you could do this by hand and you can also just use a palm sander as well. Um, but hand sanding works just as well. It just requires more elbow grease. Got the laps all cleaned up now, nice and smooth. If there's any bumps or any spots where the fiberglass is raised, just give that a quick once over with some sandpaper. Again, don't touch the board unless you have gloves on. You don't want the oil from your hands getting on the board. Uh, that should about do it for the lamination. Uh, next is glassing on the fins and some miscellaneous stuff, uh, leash plug possibly, but that might come around the hot coat step. Uh, but next will be Let's do the glass on fins. Okay, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.